Do you run into issues when you're working with images and videos in React? Cloudinary makes it a lot easier to work with images and video in React. So let me show you how you can get started using the Cloudinary React SDK. The Cloudinary React SDK has lots of features that allow you to work with images and videos in React. In order for you to take advantage of the superpowers that Cloudinary gives you, you first need to install the React SDK, and you also need to install the Cloudinary URL gen JavaScript SDK. The first thing I'm going to do is install the Cloudinary React SDK and the gen URL SDK. Once those are finished installing, I'm going to import Cloudinary from Cloudinary URL Gen. Next, I'm going to import advanced image from Cloudinary React. Keep in mind that you should only import modules as you need them. Next, we're going to create a new Cloudinary instance. Then inside this object, let's create a cloud property with the value being an object that we use to set our cloud name. You can get your cloud name from the Cloudinary dashboard. So I'm going to click copy to copy my cloud name. And back on the application, I'm going to paste that value here. The next thing we're going to do is use the advanced image component. And inside of the cld.image, we're going to grab an image from our media library on Cloudinary. We're going to grab this image from my media library on the Cloudinary dashboard. And the public ID for this image is going to be docs slash soccer. You can see the names up in the upper left corner. So let's pass in the public ID of docs slash soccer. And let's close out this component. And if you visit our application, you see we have the picture, but it is huge. So next I'm going to import resize from Cloudinary URL gen slash actions slash resize. Then we're going to head back down to our soccer image on the advanced image tag and hit dot resize parentheses resize dot scale dot width to 50 and dot height to 50. Make sure we hit save. As we head back to the application, see it's been resized to 250 pixels by 250 pixels. If you want to take this further, you can check out this next video that will teach you how to dynamically crop and resize images with Cloudinary and React.